Hello guys, today teacher Abraham has something very interesting and important to share with you. It is the American English phonology. Because I believe you want to speak English like a Native American or as fluent as possible. If so, this very short video is yours. Um, during this video, two main questions will be answered. And I believe these two questions are essential to any non-native English speakers and so their answers. Let's start. These are the phonetic symbols. Each of these symbols has a very specific sound. For example, this one is a, uh, that one is er, ow, o, o, e, i, er, t, th. J, E, A, E, E, E. The phonology. So if you are learning English, the very first class or the most important class should be this. The American English phonology. Phonetic symbols. As you can see, A as in hot, E as in is, e, as in heat, o, as in coat, o, as in law, a, as in cut, al, as in now, er, as in work, th, as in three, th, as in without, j, as in measure, i, as in try, e, as in red, e, as in cat, a, as in same. Now the question you may be asking yourself is, how will I be able to pronounce the words by using these symbols? Where will I be seeing these symbols? It's quite simple. Let's practice the phonology. If you take a look here, you see this symbol, the simple I, the I with the dot. So phonetically, the symbol is A. That one is a, and that one is a. So this word is me ka nick. And for the fact that you see the stress mark here, it means that the ka is has to be pronounced higher than this me and then that nick. So the word is mechanic. So where will you where will you see these symbols? Well, when you making a research, you bump into a word for the first time, and that you want to know the definition or the meaning of this word. Once you type down the word and to have the meaning from your dictionary, the first thing you will see before they give you the definition of the word is how it is pronounced phonetically.